What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you what I decided to do with my hair after cutting my locks which had an excess amount of buildup. Now, if you haven't yet seen my previous video, then be sure to click the link above to check it out so that you can follow this journey. So, will I be starting with a new set of starter locks or will I reattach my old locks? But before we get into that, if you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that notification button so that you will never miss an upload every Sunday at 5pm. And also, if you would like to support my channel, then please feel free to join the ad gang by participating in watching the ads which are displayed on my channel as this really helps me out. Okay, so let's get into it. So in last week's video, I asked you all to take part in my community poll question to find out what you would do with your hair after cutting a handful of your locks. And to my surprise, 66% of you said that you would restart with new locks and 33% said that you would reattach the old ones. But with that said, let's find out what I actually did. I actually decided to reattach my old locks. Okay, so before reattaching my locks, I went through some of my older locks from my first lock journey and picked the thickest of the bunch. As some of the locks in the front of my head were thin and I didn't want to reattach any of the thin ones to my new V-sized locks as that would actually look quite awkward. After this, I made sure to have them undergo an ACV soak as well as being washed and conditioned. Once they were dry, I went ahead and prepared them for reattachment by combing out the ends of each lock. And I'm actually happy that I held on to my old locks as they certainly came in handy. Now I've already attached the first four locks as a guide to myself in regards to how big I wanted the sizing to be and also as a test run on reattaching. Okay, so before I started reattaching my locks, I sectioned out my portions. Then I went ahead and twisted that particular section of my hair. Then I placed my combed out lock on my hair and then I used my 0.75 millimeter crochet needle to actually start crocheting the hairs together. And again, if you're interested in getting this 10 piece needle set, I will be sure to leave a link below for you to make a purchase. And that's if you're interested. And to be honest, this was so much easier than I anticipated. And it was quite simple, very, very easy to actually attach the lock. I actually thought it was going to be quite difficult, but it was quite simple. All you have to do is just literally move the crochet needle back and forth between the lock and your hair, and then it will just reattach. So I thought reattaching my locks was the best option for me to go with as not only would it give me the opportunity to resize the locks at the front of my head which I weren't happy with but the locks would already be the same length as my existing locks. So instead of waiting for these locks to grow and catch up to the length of the others I can actually enjoy my locks without experiencing any odd lengths. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, then please be sure to like, comment and share this content to show some love and support. And until next week Sunday at 5pm, we will be right back here with another video.